So before we can talk about fast steps and slow steps, let's talk about the rate law. The rate is proportional to the products of the concentration of the reactants. So here, rate. Now K is based on the substance, but let's not talk about that. First of all, the rate of a substance is like this. Say there's 2H plus 1O2 gas, it makes 2H2O, right? So what we do is we, re we reorganize that formula to form um, the reactants, the, sorry, the products divided by the reactants. Okay, so the product is, of course, H2O. The problem is The problem is H2O is not required. Now the equilibrium constant is a little bit more different. The equilibrium constant, the big K, or the K constant, is equal to the products divided by the reactants. So what we do is we take this, right? We take the products right here. So C3, D4, A2, 5B, and if K is larger than the product, then is large and the product is favored. You have to also not include uh, solids and liquids. They have constant concentrations. So this one here is an example of one that in the rate law that just goes into completion. It doesn't come back. So as a result, you just put down this thing here. You would just put down the K that you got from here, plug it into the equation, and then you have the proportion of H2 O, which is divided by 2, and O2, and from there you can get the answer. Now, a fast step is perhaps A plus B is equal to X, but a slow step is kind of like the reverse. So X, you take the product and you, you add that to the uh, initial reactant, and you get a slow step, which is a different product C, like this here. You have a fast step. A NO2 becomes, well, NO2 plus NO3. Now, let's, now here's where it gets very, very tricky. It gets slower. You take NO3, which you got from the product, and you take NO2, which you got from the product, and then you add them together to make a different one, which, again, is going to be a slow step. Now, what you have here is NO3, right, which is a part of the original product at this point, and adding in, adding in just NO which results to 2NO2, which is a fast step because you're taking one part of it as the product.